What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Coach's Corner. And look, this past six or seven days or so, man, depending on when you watch this video, has been absolutely outstanding. If you are an ESBC game fan or if you're just watching the news for what's coming out new. And I really kind of just want to wrap up what this like past week has been, man, because we went a good little bit of time. Well, we really didn't get any information, man. And of course, like I always do, I want to put it into a little bit of perspective so everybody can kind of see like the period we kind of went through and what things have been like for these these past six or seven days or so. So obviously to kick things off, man, we got the new gameplay trailer that launched not too long ago, man. And it's, it's just been pandemonium since that bad boy dropped. You guys have been killing the views across all the ESBC um, creators channels, man. I mean, obviously, I mean, ain't none of them better than mine, right? Like, clearly, I have the best breakdown video. But anyway, uh, no, no, it, it all due respect, man. Everybody has been kind of like killing the content, man. And, and that's what when they give us content, man, this is the type of stuff that we could bring to y'all. So this is why just pointing this out is even important. Let me put this into a perspective real quick. Take Guerrilla Games, for example. They just recently had Horizon Forbidden West that just dropped. Now, I understand people are going to say that that is a much bigger company than SCI. And yes, you would be correct. But it's not even the size of the company that I'm even worried about. If you look at their Twitter page, you would have to go back months to actually find a one day gap in between content that they posted on their page. And the great thing about it was that even for days that they didn't have something brand new in order to show you, they would use things like fan art. Do you know how many different pieces of fan art there are out there for ESBC right now? There are numerous cards that people are out there making, some that are actually really, really, really good also. That could be posted on that page just to show some form of activity. So getting as much as we've had so far out of this last six or seven days from SCI has been absolutely a dream. We got big news that Terrence Crawford was down there getting his scans in the studio, which is huge because now everybody is hoping that Terrence Crawford is going to be in the game on day one, but he was not the only one because we also got news that Oleksandr Usyk was also down there and he was actually doing an interview after his scans with Michelle Joy Phelps from Behind the Gloves. And that's not even it because today we got not one but two separate interviews on ESBC Games from Lydia Daydall over at Fight Connect TV. One she was doing with Sonny Edwards, two she did with Oleksandr Usyk. Shout out was to Fight Connect TV because there was a nice little dime dropped in the Alexander Usyk interview that you probably should go watch. She did mention that there was gameplay involved and there was Loma versus Canelo, which tells us that they have been scanned and they are fully functioning in the game right now. So please go over there and check those out. So I put all this out to say what, man? Look, your marketing is where it needs to be right now. You have all of the momentum. Listen, you even have Damian Lillard out here talking about your game at the moment. Listen, fellas, this is what everybody has been asking for for a, about a month or two now is that we've always wanted SCI to be more active. Guess what? You're all being more active. Don't stop now. Keep coming with it even the small things man just stay active look that's all i got for you today that was kind of like a roundup of the past week and some of the information we got please the fight connect tv links will be down in the description man go over there and check those out until the next one all right i'll catch y'all later